fathers, lovers and massive mistakes. New two-part drama for BBC One and concluding tomorrow night, Michelle Collins and Juliet Aubrey star in Ella and the Mothers. So what are the odds? It's impossible to say. There are so many variants. But you're both young and healthy and I'm happy to say that we have a high rate of success here. <sighs> and um, will it hurt taking the exam? No. You may experience a certain amount of discomfort, and likewise when the embryos are transferred, but it really will be minimal. How about when we write the check? <laughs> <laughs> if there's nothing else, I just have to take a few details at this stage. Can I check you and your husband's full names and dates of birth, please? My husband's not involved this time. Of course not. In fact, I, I see you've already filled in a donor form. Brown hair, blue eyes, mu muscular? <laughs> Musical. Uh, Education's also important. Of course. Uh, we have a lot of students on our books. Well, if my husband can have a baby with a 22-year-old, I don't see why I can't. I'm sorry. that though is it woodwork yeah. yeah of course it matters well, have you ever been to korea well no neither have i so how the hell do we know what the goalposts are made of lovely but tell him to change it yes we have well i don't know but i'm not having any punter get out of jail free just because gary can't be bothered to use his thesaurus you are going to get a lump in your neck if you carry on like that well he's not going out yet is he look tell him to hold on because i want to have a word of him well, no 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 not now no george yeah, but tell him i'll be there in half an hour yeah all right cheers i'll see you some punters just put on 50k on how many times England are going to hit the goalposts. What do you think? Well, I told them to take it. I mean, Gary knows what Off he's talking about. Off the dress. If it's less than the grand, I love it. If it's more, it makes your bum look bigger. It's 995. <laughs> it's murder to get on. Yeah? I like getting it off. <laughs> Thank you. Gina. Mm -hmm. Oh, not again. I'm bleeding, I'm bloody bleeding. And although clearly it's rooted in the courtly love traditions of uh, the 12th century, what emerges first in Wuthering Heights and, and is then later developed in the other works of the Brontes is actually a new model of love and the family. Uh, a model in which even the heroes choose secrecy over honest, direct communication. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave it there and pick it up from here next time. Thank you, everyone. And uh, no essays, by the way. Next week, just catch up on your reading. Oh, no, 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 no,
Madeline? Yes. The examination board meeting has been arranged for Thursday at 6 o'clock. Oh, I can't make that, I'm afraid. Oh, well, all the others can make it. Um, well, uh, next Tuesday at 7 well, is the only other possibility. Why do we make a lunch time? Well, because people are having lunch, hence the word. <laughs> Uh, Marilyn, uh, you did volunteer. Yes, to no, be I'm on sorry. This Look, board. I'll speak to you about uh, this later. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm in a hurry. Bye. George, I'm fed up with people rummaging around my insides. All that scratching and scraping. I'm fed up with being disappointed. Ella, that's your mum. Oh, Hi, darling. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. Hello, sweetheart. I'm a bit tired. Have a cup of tea? No, I better not. Mum's coming back. Mm. Had a nice day. Oh, she's going to get his gold. Do you want to mm. find your shoes? Mum's going to stay. No, nope, tap it on. Right. Run along. Go on. Put your shoes on. anymore my arm will drop off. Come on, sweetheart. Time for bed now. Big day tomorrow. I'm not tired. <sighs> if Nana and I go downstairs for a minute, will you put Christy to bed? She's very tired. She knows her own mind, doesn't she? She certainly does. But dare I say it, but she needs a man about the house. <sighs> well, it's about time, isn't it? Have you met any of the tutors in my department? Forget the tutors said go for the undergraduates. <laughs> in my day, the canvas was awash with potential. You're getting a bit frisky in your old age. Well, I wish you would. All set. Because of it. 
this is not enough. much point really is there. I'm off. You're gonna be all right. Listen, we can't have kids. Nobody's fault. It's just the way it is. So what are we going to do? Go around with black armbands for the rest of our lives? Here. What's this? Pick an island. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to take a week off work. I mean, you're going to go away somewhere. What about the office? Oh, they're grown-ups. They can live without me. Well, for a week they can. Yeah. In the meantime. What's this for? Bikini. the wrong embryos into the wrong woman. The British Medical Association is taking a keen interest in the affair. However, if the allegations that Dr. Jeffrey Alexander implanted the wrong embryos into the wrong women proves to be true, then a full inquiry seems inevitable. This is Amanda Poole of the Ashdale Clinic, South London. Hello. H Hello, Beverly. Is George there? Well, when's it you back? Tell him... No, tell him I'm on my way. This is Data on Tilly, yeah? Yes. And you saw the whole report? No, just the end of it. I mean, you could be selling them. Selling what? My, my eggs and your sperm. Look, if I got upset every time one of my sperm went for a burden, I'd have topped myself when I was 14. Supposing we're fertilised together and put into someone else's body. Our children, George, in someone else's body. Look, you've got to do something. I mean, we're in the clinic. Look, a lawyer, if anything. Look, I'll give Kapoor a bell as soon as I get back, yeah? See if he can find out a bit more. Get back. Where are you going? I'm going to Paris. They're opening a new office. They want someone to hold their hands. But I'm back tomorrow. Tomorrow? We can't just stand here and do nothing, Jordan. Can't we speak to Kapoor now? Gina, it's daytime telly. Some local hack trying to make a name for himself for all we know. All I'm saying is, don't get your hopes up, yeah? Now I've got to get back. Yes, um, can I see Dr. Alexander, please? Yes, do you have an appointment? No, not as such. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Alexander. Excuse me. Excuse me! Can I help you? Where is he? The doctor's out at the moment. I do know what's going on, you know, and I think I'm entitled to an explanation, don't you? Excuse me! I'm sorry, I could try It's all right, me. I'll deal with this. It's Mrs. Kaufman. Gina Kaufman. Oh, yes, Mrs. Kaufman. He came to see us several times a few years ago. Yes, that's right. And I would like to know whether any of my eggs were given to the wrong woman. You're carrying woman. out a thorough investigation with So it is true. And as soon as we hear anything, we'll let <laughs> you know. Have you any idea? Any idea what it's like to want to have a baby and not be able to have one? Mrs. Kaufman. Do you know how much money we spent trying to have a baby? Mrs. Kaufman. I was a patient here once. Oh, what time is he coming back? I honestly don't know. I'll wait. He might not be back today. I'll wait anyway. Mm. 
Night, Grace. Excuse me. I'm afraid it doesn't look as if he's coming back today. I'll give it another half hour. Look, have a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. I thought you could do with it. <laughs> I'll leave it over here for you. It's on the papers. Just popping out for a couple of minutes. Sorry, Professor Atkins, to change the annual board meeting, but he won't. Got him again. Screw him. Well, I would, except that he's married, weighs 14 stone, pushing 60. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> One night stand. Might have a heart attack or I'd be eternally grateful to you. <laughs> Mum would be delighted, wouldn't you, Mum? I think you can do better than that, my darling. <laughs> Mum, I feel sick. Are you, sweetheart? I'm not surprised. Well, that just shock. <laughs> his wife, please. Oh, and it's urgent. Thanks. Bye. No joy. <sighs> I wish he was here. I can't wait to see his face when I tell him. Back on the fags, then? Yeah. Nah, better not. Got a scan tomorrow. Find out whether I'm giving birth to a baby or a water buffalo. <laughs> Look at me. I'm shaking. No idea who she is, though, do you? Just her name and address. She only lives down the road. I could have passed her on the street and I didn't even know. Well, how do you know it's a girl? I don't. I can just feel it somehow. <sighs> Poor kid. Imagine being stuck in the wrong life with the wrong mother. You'd think she'd sense it somehow. Well, probably get used to it. I mean, the mum wouldn't even know, poor woman. I suppose the chances are it is her child. Well, realistically, Gina, it's, yeah, well, it's a bit different when you've got one at home, one on the way, isn't it? I've got to get back. Gina, all I'm saying is you don't know anything for a fact yet, that's all. And never mind whether it's yours or not. You don't even know whether there is a child. I'll see you soon. same time. 
Ashdale Fertility Clinic about five years ago. All right. Anyway, my name's Gina Kaufman, and um, it'd be really helpful to have a chat. Would you mind? Sure. Mind? Well, yes, actually, I do. Sorry. Oh, yo, oh, sorry. Kids. It's very nice. Thanks. Do you remember um, the doctor at the clinic, Doctor Alexander? Oh, yes, of course. Well, as I said, um, we haven't met before, or your husband, for that matter. No, you wouldn't have done. Right. Only we must have been there at the same time, because... My daughter, Ella. Ella. She's beautiful. Thanks. Did you? No. At least, uh... <laughs> but was there something particular you wanted to see me about? I was just wondering if you'd heard from the clinic at all. No. Only there's been a mix-up. How do you mean? With some embryos. Apparently, some women got the wrong ones. But um, I'm, I'm sure you will hear <laughs> from them. In fact, I went there the other day, hoping to see Dr. Alexander, and there was a letter from the Human Fertility... Fertilisation and Embryology Authority. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, they said there might be a chance that mine and George's embryo was implanted by mistake into someone else. You. As a matter of fact. Me? What exactly are you trying to say? That uh, Ella, Ella, your daughter, <laughs> might not necessarily be yours. She could be mine. Mine and George's. Could you leave my house, please? You're not the only one. It's happened to other women in the clinic. So it's not like it's your fault. The fact is, the wonderful Dr. Alexander wasn't quite as wonderful as we thought. The fact thought. is that you didn't have a baby. And that you've come here to... I don't know, why have you come here? To walk off with my daughter? The point is, she might not be your daughter. How dare you come here? I have a letter. Care what letter do you have? Will you leave my house, please? Look at the photograph. Get out of my house! I mean, just look at her! Get out! Please. I want to see her. Get out. What the hell did you do that for? This woman has got our child, George. Look, it's there in black and white. May have our child. It says there's a possibility. Exactly. Well, that's why we're around there. There is a difference between possibility and probability. Believe me, I do know what I'm talking about. I saw her. At least I saw a photo. She looks like you, George, and me. This woman has got our child. I'm so excited on you. I am. But I still think we should leave this to Kapoor. What did he say? Well, obviously, if there has been a cock-up, we can sue them for every penny they've got. But I don't want every penny they've got. I want my daughter back. Of course. Um, so what about the husband? Well, I don't think there is one. According to reports, she used a donor. Well, either way, I mean, she's still not going to hand over her daughter without a fight. 
So, you reckon she's a single mum? Looks like it. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? No one likes a single mother, do they? into my life and make claims on my daughter. I'm her mother. I've loved her. I've brought her up for five years. There's no way I'm ever going to give her up, ever. Inherent jurisdiction of, of the High Court. What on earth does that mean? In any case, I don't care. I just want her stopped. First things first, um, to start off with, we should find out if she has a case. What do you mean? Well, it's extremely unlikely to have been a mix-up, uh, but technically not, I suppose, impossible. Why don't we simply book you and Ella in for a DNA test and take it from there? Okay. What if... I mean, just supposing she's not mine. The Children's Act distinctly favours the status quo. And then again, the natural mother does have considerable rights. So it's, it swings and roundabouts. Now, your mother lives nearby, I believe. Yes, she's looking after Ella now. Oh, good. So the child has a loving grandmother. Yes. Uh, but no father or grandfather? No. Fine. You work, don't you? Yes. Hard. Very. <clears throat> Excellent. So, uh, a bright, hard-working woman who has devoted her life to bringing up her child on her own. Everybody likes a single mother. And, um, the Kaufmans, what about them? I don't know anything about them. Well, I can, um, ask a private detective to draw up a preliminary report for you, if you wish. Um, it'll cost a bit. I wouldn't normally suggest it unless there was an unfavourable DNA. But if you feel it would um, keep you one step ahead of the game, so to speak, well... Please. Oh, fine. Um, in any case, it sounds to me as though you don't have too much to worry about. What are you up to? Mom, do I look like you? Just straight down here, please. I've walked past this road so many times. What number? 75. Oh, there it is, look. Can you slow down, please? No sign of life. No, it's OK. Don't stop. We'll come back another time. I just wanted to see what she looked like in the... Stop! Stop! Charlie, there she is. That's her. Oh, my God. What are you doing? I want to get closer. Gina, I'll catch you later.
Oh, lovely. Thank you. Hello. What's your name? Ella. That's a nice name. Is that your mummy over there? Um, it's E double L A, isn't it? Any other names? No. Fine. What a gift to have that hair color. You know, you should get her down to one of those modeling agencies. They snap her up. You backed out. Why? Supposing she turns out not to be mine. Quite apart from having to fight for her, what if it? Changes the way I feel about her, the way she feels about me. I'd have to tell her one day. I do not know. Madeline, you need to do it, either way. What's that? A detective's report on the Kaufmans. And? Well, I don't know. I haven't even dared read it. I mean, they're bound to be an ideal couple, aren't they? They are a couple in mind already. Oh, stop it. Yeah. <sighs> right. Okay, George Kaufman. Uh, works in Clerkenwell. Wednesday night, left work early to attend a party. Boring, boring. Thursday night, had drinks with unidentified female. That's a bit more like it. It's probably business. In the Aurora Bar. Never heard of it. Great Eastern Hotel. Practically got his own table, apparently. Friday night, had a big row with his wife outside a restaurant in Soho. Did he hit her? Afraid not. That's about it. I mean, there's no Class A drugs, no all-night orgies. What about her? Um, Gina. <laughs> Ex-model. Mm -hmm, not fit. Monday, she went to the gym, then she went to the hairdressers shopping with a girlfriend. Tuesday, went to the cinema. What the hell does she want with a five-year-old? She won't be able to do any of this. Blah, blah, blah. Friday, she went shopping again. And Saturday... What? Saturday, she followed you. She followed you and Ella to the park. She's spying on me. Seems worth it. I mean, she spends half her life on Bond Street. Unless you go after him. I mean, all that schmoozing in the Aurora Bar, maybe he's up to something. Maybe he is. I intend to be there when it happens. It's not exactly the pig and whistle, is it? So, how are we supposed to know what he looks like? Excuse me, is Mr. Kaufman in yet? I think uh, he was in the corner with the young lady. Not what I expected. Mm. Oh my god. It's good, isn't it? I've just seen the price. Yeah. Mr. Popular. Can't see it myself. Uh-oh. Oh my god, has he just seen a stirring? Mm -hmm. He must have radar. They're the only women in the room he hasn't snubbed yet. We'll make very good swarmies, wouldn't we? Pity. Good call it the east of this. Great, no signal. Is mm. he still looking this way? No, all clear. I promise I'll ride and say good night. Mm. Give us a shot if they have sex on the bar. We will do. Is that how you recharge your battery? <laughs> you, don't, you don't know where the phone's are, do you? It's straight down the end, turn right, filter left, go past reception, do a dog leg at the fountain, and they're right ahead of you. So that's straight down the end, turn right. Filter left, filter left. go past reception. Hey, look, tell you what, use mine, it's much easier. Are you sure? 
I'll be one minute. Hello? Hello, Mum. Yeah, hi, Mum. It's me. Yeah, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Is Ella there? Yeah. So, no, no, no. No, no, darling. No, no, sweetheart. Okay, I've got to go. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Thank you. Ah, you were quick. <laughs> it's very high tech. Mm. Does it make you breakfast in the morning as well? Continental, but not full English. <laughs> oh, I should take it back if I were you. Oh, you. Thank you, right? So, how come you know your way around here so well? But I work here. Oh, right. Oh, no, 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 I don't work here. But I, uh, I have meetings here and that sort of thing. Gets me out of the office. Oh, I see. I was about to give you a tip. Hey, listen, if you want to give me a tip, you go right ahead. Yeah, I've got a tip for you. I always bet with honest George. George? Oh, yeah. George, hi. Right. And what about you? What? What's your name? Suzanne. Suzanne? Are you sure? Well, um, thanks for the phone and the, oh. and the cigarette. I'd better, better be getting back. Okay. Bye. I'll see you. She obviously does. But it's, it's perfect. What is? Give him a call, arrange to meet him. Oh, you do want to get some dirt on him, don't you? Yeah, but I don't want him to get suspicious. Well, what does he do? George Carfell, managing director of the Sporting Index. There you go, he's a gambler, for God's sake. You've got to meet him. Madeline, this man is trying to steal your daughter. Wondering if she's all right, what her bedroom's like. She's got many friends. She's happy at school. It must mean something, mustn't it? I want to see her again. Back off, love. But don't you? She's a lovely looking kid. She looks just like you when you were little. Lucky girl. Yeah, you nearly really. You didn't answer my question. Huh? We could drive round there. She only lives around the corner. Gina. You don't want to see her, do you? I didn't say that. How many times in the last five years have we been up there one minute and then come crashing down the next? Let's wait until we get the results of the test, yeah? If, if she turns out to be ours, do you really think I'm going to sit on my ass and do sod all about it? But in the meantime, just, just stay away from me, yeah? Hello. Oh, hello. Is George there, please? Yes, he is. Who's speaking? Suzanne. Just one minute. George! Yeah? It's for you. Who is it? Suzanne. Very young and very female. We met the other day at the Aurora Bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi there. Is it, um, a good moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. Only, uh, I've just been looking at your card and, 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 and um, um, well, as it happens, I'm supposed to be writing an article about gambling and, and to <laughs> cut a long story short, I was wondering whether it might be possible for us to meet up. Well, when were you thinking? The sooner the better, really. Well, how about, um, Thursday, the Aurora Bar, seven o'clock? 
All right, now see you then. You ready yet? Yeah, just look in my bag. Yeah, well, it'll be time to come home soon. So who's Suzanne then? Work. Drinking. Um, I, I can recommend the daiquiri. Sounds good. Yeah. Same again, Sam. So, you're a writer, are you? A journalist, yes. Oh, fiction. <laughs> and uh, you're a gambler. Wash your mouth out, businessman, please. What exactly do you do? Spread bet. Oh, that's the company's speciality. Right. You haven't got a clue what that is, have you? No. <laughs> Give us a fiver. Excuse me? A fiver. You see the waiter at the bar? Mm hmm. Hmm? You see all those drinks being lined up? Mm hmm. Well, how many do you reckon he can stick on his tray at one go? I don't know, about half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might do. Or he might just take two. You know, serve that couple over there by the door and come back for the rest. Personal service. Better chance of a tip. Mm -hmm. Trouble is, he might get shouted at by that rowdy bunch over there because they've been waiting longer. Right. What he could do is stick it all on. More chance of a spill, but, you know, at least it keeps them all happy. Endless possibilities. Right, I'm the bookie, and I say between 10 and 12. Now, if I'm right, I keep the fiver. If I'm wrong, for each number you choose, on either side of that spread, you win or lose multiples of five pound. You got it? Up to a point. Who's <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, pick a number. Um, eight. Eight. That's a tenner if you lose. Mm -hmm. Right, you're on. Keep going. Keep going. Eight! No, 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 go on. Stop! Stop that, stop! Oh! Yes! <laughs> you were right. Well, I make a living out of being right. How did you know? Well, the more he can do in one go, the more time he has to spend with a certain customer. Let you off the other fiver. Bet you can always put it down on expenses. <laughs> That's better. You don't look as nervous anymore. So how high do the stakes usually get? Oh, as high as you like. Well, come down to the office sometime, see for yourself. It gets quite lively towards the end of the week. Right. Well, is that a yes or a no? Well, it depends on, you know, deadlines and have to see. Hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Have you anything to add to that? No, no, I... I think that just about covers everything. Good. Well, in that case, the meeting is over. I wanted 
to, um, to talk to you about the second year. I went on that field trip to uh, London, Cheshire. Um, George? Suzanne. Is that last race at the suburb? Unbelievable. Jolly. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, so these are the guys that take the bets, online or on the phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gary, Gary, our boy genius over there, he's our top market maker. So he chooses the bets and then decides the odds. And where are you? Oh, upstairs, away from the riffraff. George, the board have come back with a no again. Oh, we'll just keep trying. For how long? Well, until they say yes. OK. What's that about? Oh, bureaucrats trying to tie us up in red tape. I mean, oh, we'll get there in the end. Do you always get what you want? Oh, always. Well, nearly always. Oh, just had the next call, gonna get us back. Oh, I don't believe it. Then it cancelled the holiday. Shit, 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 And there you have it. If you ever fancy a flutter, you know where to go. Thanks. I'd better be getting off. Uh, well, you don't have to. Wait, have you eaten? No. Well, why don't we grab a bite to eat and we can carry on asking us questions? Yes. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Oh, hello, Beverly. Is, is George there? No, I've already tried. It's switched off. Well, who's the meeting with? Do you know? OK, thanks. Oh, but Beverly, um, you don't have a Suzanne in the office by any chance, do you? Right, OK, I, I must have got it wrong then. No, no, it's nothing, thanks. Bye. When I was a kid. Yeah? Mm hmm. Every Sunday. Always wanted to swim in this lake. I can never understand why Mum and Dad wouldn't let me. <laughs> I can see why now. You got a five feet piece? Mm. Wow. 
sorry, do you want to go? No, 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 you carry on. What are you looking at? Uh, trying to get the eye. Oh, I went on that the other week. Oh, yeah. Night. No, it's magic. Of course, you know how it works, don't you? How? Hamsters. Hamsters? Yeah, yeah, they have about two million of them underground, apparently. Running on the spot all day, all night. <laughs> Come I don't think that would be a very good idea. No. Come here anyway. I've been wanting to do that since you first tried to pick me up in that bar. Really? Hurry. I just have to go. What, what, what is that, eh? Do you want to meet again? I don't think that would be a very sensible idea. And next week? No. Oh, yes, all right. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. Get it off, it's a work, is it, Suzanne? You're supposed to get the dirt on him, not be the dirt. It would seem that a couple of other children conceived there are now known definitely not to be their parents' biological children. I would 
like to know exactly what progress is being made of my daughter. Hello, Gina. George? You knew all along? Yes. Sorry to bother you. It's Madeline Kingdom here. Yes, Ella's mum. Where is she? Madeline! Why didn't you plan that far ahead? And Ella and the Mothers continues tomorrow night at nine. Harrison Ford and Christian Scott Thomas star in our romantic thriller, Random Heart, after the news here on BBC One. Well, over on BBC Two in a moment, the destructive side of love. Drama in a walk on the moon. A mix-up with their IVF treatment. My eggs and yours are supposing a 